that's good too, but let's do this and fur poncho. Let's do this. Yep, and now he's in his king's outfit. So I can lower... I think this is actually better for him. Like, it, it lowers his magical might, but it improves his magical mending. I think that's better. Okay, and... Actually, I'm gonna save now because we did all that. And then we're gonna do some upgrading, I think, of some people's weapons. How much do these? I already did that. It's cost seven. I knew that was going to happen. There wasn't really much I could do about that. Still got reworked into plus one. Oh, whoops. I meant to do the light, the light one, not the double. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was my bad. Let's try that again. I want to do the lighter hit there, not the double power hit. We are good. We'll take the plus one.
Good. This may even be a plus two. Ooh, plus three, actually. Yep, I think that's everything. Okay, um... So the only two things we have to figure out what to do with these two items. I kind of want to give it to her because she's kind of like our crit character, but I like having this on her a lot. 3 MP restored per turn. But I guess if she's going to be getting... This soon, she doesn't need it. How many skill seeds have I used on her? None, okay. Um, let's go Jade. One of... Okay, use my own command here. Skill seeds. Okay, so Jade needs three. I can use one of three skill seeds on her. Let's go ahead and do that. I can get her this. Uh, next, I don't know what I do. I can do hard. I can go for hard claw. Actually, I'll, hmm, one of these two is probably what I'll go for next. Then I'll start working up here. I think. Don't really care about that. This gives 8 defense, 15 charm. And deafness was... Crit. So basically, do I take away th extra 3 MP per turn? to give her more deafness. I'll try it for now. See how I like it, how it feels.
That's probably pretty good on him. Still not sure what I want to do about these two. Need two more. So one more level up for that. You could probably. Okay, I could grab this. We'll attack with a pair of boomerangs that can deal damage to all enemies. Damage all enemies. Go. Let's grab this and then. We'll go deafness. We're gonna, use, we're gonna grab deafness, deafness, dodge chance, agility, and then we'll grab this. You can get magic might plus. Give him dual wield. Maybe give him some stuff to do. Or I could just like buff his stats like super high. This is a very good ability right here. It's super expensive though. One last place I want to go back to real quick. I'm gonna go look again at this place's uh, armor.
So I was thinking I could buy her this. And then also get her strong Sam agility up. Oops. I already have one of those. Cause I just did I just make a mistake in buying items. I did. Oh god did I. What a waste. Oh man, my game crashed. What happened there? <laughs> my game crashed. I, I I made a mistake. I was you know I was playing to own up to it, but it just the game just crashed on me. I don't know what happened. Oh well. Well, I mean, since the game crashed, I guess we can rectify our mistake and not buy that. Oh, let's go here. I mean, it's not like I wanted to do this, you know. It just happened. But mean though, I wanted I would take these off of him. I believe. Okay, well, at the very least, I'm gonna buy. I don't think I'm going to equip him yet. Well, we'll see what her attack and defense actually just goes up to. Okay. Oh wait, so this is 117. This is far better anyways, I can give her that. Give her that. Then I don't need these. Okay, um... Can I make another pair of these angel sandals? <laughs> Sorry, I was planning to continue moving on with the game, but... I didn't think I would want to do this. So much crafting to do. But we got all... opened up all that stuff, so... A lot of things to make. I want to see if I can make another one of those sandals for more speed on her. Or, I mean, what am I talking about? It says, well, I'll check if I can make them real quick. But I can just give her the 3 MP thing, can't I? And that'll be all good. Not weapon. Accessory. Footwear. I can make another pair. Okay, let's make another pair. Just to test out. Because I could always put her back onto the, um, the other item that I was using.
Nice. There we go. Jeez, now she has 40 agility. Okay, I think we are finally ready to go proceed on with the story. Well, yeah. I really want to get an upgrade for the heroes and get out of this stupid armor. Claw better on Jade? Um, I don't know, to be honest. So, when I first played this game on the JP version, I went a different route. The, the best thing on Jade is, um, is by far her unart, her fisticuffs. Like, this is easily her best, her best thing. However, it doesn't become her best thing until way later in the game when you unlock the rest of her skill tree. Then she gets one of the single best abilities in the game. Until then, the higher damage is probably Spears. The reason I'm going Fisticuffs right now, or Claws on her, is because when I played the Japanese version, I originally went Spears first. And I didn't want to do that a second time, so I'm trying something new, and I'm going with Claws. And so far, I'm actually really enjoying it, um, to be honest. She crits a whole bunch, uh, she heals herself a lot, I just now got her this MP healing ability, so I'm really liking this a whole lot on her. Uh, her in-game build, though, is almost certainly going to be Fisticuffs and Allure. Um, combining these two will be her in-game build, because she can deal some just stupid amounts of damage later on. Um, where's Warrior's Rest? There we go. Claw also has a really nice ability that um, it always hits, no matter what, for 5 MP, guaranteed hit. It works when she's blind, it works on enemies that dodge, it works on metal slimes. So that's a really nice ability that she has access to. But for just ba from overall damage, yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably not the best. Um... But it's really hard to tell. I'm really enjoying Claws. I'm actually liking it a whole lot more than I did uh, Spears. Hey, no problem. Anytime. Another thing, why, why, why have you here? Um, I originally, with Eric, I went, in my Japanese playthrough, I went Knives. And I absolutely hated it. Um, like, I binged him very quickly. Uh, basically, as soon as I got Jade, I never used him again until the post-game. Uh, he's, he's another character that post-game becomes incredibly powerful. He goes from being, like, the worst character in your party to the boss killer in the post-game. Uh, however, for this playthrough, I've actually sent him in the boomerangs, and I've gotten a lot more use out of him than I did with daggers. So I'm actually really enjoying boomerangs on him. So if you want to get more use out of him, or if you find that daggers or something aren't, aren't that good, you can go and just respec into uh, boomerangs. And he's actually pretty good that way. Anything else besides treasure chests in here? There is. Finds a choker. Princes, peacoats, princesses' robes. 
we'll take a look at those. And here's what we actually came for. One more orb. Pretty sure it's one more orb at least. Um, one, two, yep, one, just one more. Let's walk out of here in case there's a scene and then I will teleport back to a camp to check out those new recipes we just got. And figure out what I want to do after that. Okay. So I have a side quest I can do. It's kind of an annoying one, though. I can also just proceed on with the main story. I may try the side quest a couple times, see if I can get the weather to do, to play nice, and if I can't, just proceed on with the main story. Because the side quest I still have open to me. It's this one right here, light it up. Um, beat a brawly gagger and bag some rain poof rayon. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it says right there. Wait for it to rain. So that's that's really the annoying thing. Is you have to wait for it to rain. Yes, I remember this. I actually used this a whole lot. Both of these, actually. Red eye I can get. That's no problem. I just need to figure out where to get silk blossom. I have some, so let's go find out how we grab that. Because I want to craft those. I actually liked using that on the hero. Uh, it also gets me out of these stupid rope. These stupid... Armor. Um... Silk Blossom. Just do this. No, no, that's not what I want to do. Crap. Wrong button. Beauty Tills. Uh, dropped by by roll. Dundrasil. Puerto Valor. Purchase price, though. That means I can purchase it in Puerto Valor? Or the Dundrasil region. Okay. Okay. Let's go and collect a few of those. We need quite a few, though. I have one, was it? Yeah, I have one. I need quite a few. Let's go over here. Check. If not, I'll go see if I can't buy it in Puerto Valor. We're gonna be so geared up for the next leg of the story. Holy crap. Silk Blossom. Okay, so we have three different places we can grab it. Up there, down there. Okay, so we need to grab the little beast thing. Come here, little bee. I need to ride you for a while. There you are. And see, that's why I'm loving Claws right there. She has an incredibly high crit rate with Claws. Well, that was easy. Oops, oh well. 
right here. There it is. There we go. Silk Blossom. Only one. It's probably going to take forever. We'll see if we can get it multiple times. We'll rest once. If it doesn't respawn after the rest, we'll just go and look at buying them in Puerto Valor. Silk Blossom. And there's one more spawn that could have it. If we get the one more spawn, we can at least make one of the items we need. Oh, did it not spawn? Or was it farther down? I think it was farther down, actually. Yeah, it was down here. There we go. Uh, let's go craft at least one of them for now. the one I want the most too. Uh, oh, so we only need two more Silk Blossom. We'll have to go buy a Red Eye, of course, because I don't think I'm going to craft one of these for each character. But I kind of want to. Mm, I want, kind of want to craft two. Oh, well. Let's make one for now. These are very good. Reduce just blanket elemental damage. Minus 15%. Oh my god. Okay. Next strike is doubled. No, I didn't want it to go that far. Oh, we've screwed up two sides of this. Oh, that is so not good. Things have gone very bad for us here. But I think we're going to pull it out. I think it's still going to be pretty good, because we got four crits on the left side. We completely destroyed the right side, though. Oh, man. It's a success, yeah. Plus one. Even with pl even with four perfects on the left on the left side of that, that's only a plus one. But we can finally get rid of this. There we go. Why didn't look so bad? Um. I need to craft those gloves. Magic Beast Hide. Where can I get a Magic Beast Hide? I don't have one, so I can't, like, look it up that way. Uh, maybe I can find something online that tells me.
Magic Beast Hide. Uh... Hmm. Okay, I know where to get it now. Let's go try and do that oh, as well. Let's go see if this stuff respawned. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we might be going to Puerto Valor. Yep. Okay. So we need five of them to be able to make two robes. Anywhere it's gonna sell that item, it's gonna be here. It's gonna be ridiculously expensive. You don't sell it. Thought they said I could buy it here. Oh. That's what it meant. Okay. In the meantime, um... Let's go see if we can't get the other item. Uh, what is that I'm looking for? go. We gotta get this other item through stealing. The uh, magic beast hide. Well, stealing or the enemy dropping it. I know what I need to do. There we go. That should help. Thank you. 
I didn't even wake up from that. This is why I hate stealing in this game. If you would go ahead and make both Eric and the hero pepped up, I could use an ability to grab it with 100% steal. There we go. Got a level up from that, alright. I only need one of those, right? At least I only need one. I really don't want to farm another one. Accessories. Gloves. Excellent. Um, let's go with one sizzly puff for now. Do another one. Oh boy. Okay. Let's go with light lightning bash. Great. So the definite plus one, possibly plus two. Plus three. My bad. Nice. Okay, um, that's good. So, what do you sell in terms of things over here? Nothing, okay. Let's go back over to the Dundrasil region and see if stuff has respawned. has not Huh, okay. Well, in that case, um Let's go do that quest.
Hey, what's going on, Krim? Stream's going pretty well today. Actually, it's going great today. Uh, I had a buddy of mine from my Warcraft guilds host me at the beginning for 39 viewers pretty early on, and a good number of them have stuck by and have been watching the whole time, so really appreciate it. Appreciate his host and appreciate them who have been sticking by. Uh, while you were not here, Krim, I got two of the orbs. I'm now down to needing just uh, one more. You actually missed an entire story section, like an entire town and dungeon and like boss story section. So you may want to, I mean, you could see it for yourself or you may want to check the VODs or something. Uh, but right now I'm doing side quests and crafting new items and just completely overhauling everybody because I also got the, uh, what is it, uh, the magic key, the one that lets me open all the red doors. So I opened all of them that I could. There's still one door left that I haven't opened because I can't get to it yet. Um, it's in the next town we go to. Now I'm just trying to wait for it to rain here. So I can do this quest. And in the meantime, I'm also waiting for stuff to respawn. This quest is incredibly annoying. Because we have to wait for all this stuff to... We need to wait for it to rain. I can show you how, how my guys have turned out, though, Krim. So here's... How the main character is. I have two Falcon Blades on. They attack twice at once, so this is four attacks whenever I just auto attack. Um, I got one of the one of them from a chest and one of them from uh, or one from a chest behind the red doors and one of them from uh, mini metals. Finally got rid of the stupid uh, Dressilian armor because I finally was able to make these the Prince's coats. These are amazing. Defense, magic might, mending, magic mending, and elemental damage ta uh, taken reduced by 15%. I'm trying to craft the female versions of these. I got two of them. I gave them some more deafness for crit, and I'm just trying these out because I have no idea what these do. Finally, I got this from um, the uh, uh, the coins from gambling. As you can see, very good. Extra 2% chance to crit. Gives her 8% on equip. Switched over to these, so she's no longer wearing the bunny suit. He's still doing his thing. Rab is now in his uh, King of Dundrasil uh, stuff, because this is a great set. 2 MP restored after each battle. It's amazing. Serena's doing her thing. I'm kind of working to get her the new... Um, robes. So I'm working for her and Veronica. Crafted this on him. So yeah, that's all I'm doing right now. I'm gonna be way over geared for the next leg of the story, but yeah, whatever. Please just get rain. Please rain. Please. That's all I care about. Just rain. Rain so I can fight this one mob and kill it. Oh my god. Um, let's go back up here and check if stuff has respawned. Yeah, you actually missed two full dungeons, which got me two orbs. And then, along with one of those dungeons, like, an entire story section. Oh, good. Looks like stuff has respawned. Nope, don't want that. There we go. Silk Blossom. How many Silk Blossoms is that? I need six total to make two of those robes. I need three more. Come here, you. Watch this. 
<laughs> it's not overpowered or anything at this level in the game. Also, Krim, I looked up the uh, platinum for this. Probably not happening, sorry. Probably not happening. There's a few things on it that I just really don't want to do. <laughs> I checked out yet? No, it's still on there, downloaded. Still need to do that. One of these days I want to like maybe get on early for stream and play it in as a beginning game or something. So I do want to check it out. Oh, rain! God damn it, just rain. That's all I care about is rain. Please, just rain. Oh, that was a long load time. Let's go ahead and save. Now, rain. No! Rain, please, just rain. All I want is rain. It's going in, at noon. It's going to rain at noon. <sighs> what is with these clear skies? Does it never rain in this region? Come on. The monster I'm looking for only spawns in this lower region here when it rains, and it's not freaking raining. Hey, no problem. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Did you have fun at your friend's wedding? Does this game not know what rain is? Seriously. Just freaking rain for me. That's all I care about. Just want rain so I can fight this one monster. Get my item. Turn in this damn quest. Oh my god. Don't tell me they, like, changed it now or something. Rain weather. It's raining! Yes! Oh, and of course the rare monster would spawn. Of course the rare one spawned. spawn. Of fucking course it would.
Okay, I'm gonna use this again. I wanna see how much damage it's dealing. Well, that's not gonna give me an accurate representation of how much damage that's dealing. Basically, I wanna see if, like, right now it's better for me to use just regular attacks with him. Okay, let's see how much a regular attack does. 101 damage. So probably between 90 to like 120 average damage. We'll fight another one of these to check the damage on that. And that's what we were looking for. So that's that quest done, but let's find another one of those so we can check damage. What, they get to attack first? Really? Falcon Slash. 117 damage. So outside of the fact that Falcon Slash will crit for more damage, it's probably better, at least at this point in the game, using two Falcon Blades to not use Falcon Slash. As strange as that might sound. Okay, it's 105 damage, and instead of three hits, I get four hits, which gives me four chances for crits as opposed to three chances. So at least until I get weapons that are better than these Falcon Blades that, you know, convince me to take them off and reduce the number of, like, auto-attack hits he gets. Because the, you know, those these Falcon Blades, right... They deal, they have the property to attack twice, so, but this only affects your auto attacks. So he attacks two, four times, you know, because I attack, I dual wielding, so he attacks four, you know, two times, but then they each give an extra attack, so four to hits total, right? Um, but when dual wielding using his Falcon Slash ability, it hits twice, and then you, then your main hand also gets a second hit, so it hits for three hits. And just now, obviously, the, the three hit Falcon Slash did more damage overall by about 10 damage, but I get a whole extra hit with just auto attacking, which is one extra shot at a critical. So I think that may actually just be better to do than using Falcon Slash for the time being. Obviously when you're not critting, Falcon Slash is better, and if Falcon Slash does crit, it obviously does will do more damage because it's a higher coefficient. But I think that's outweighed by the extra shot at a crit. You also get to conserve MP when you do it that way. Let's go back to Dundrasil. See if that stuff is respawned. Like, it's weird how that works out, but I, I really think just auto attacks are actually better with him right now. It does let him play more of a support role. 
Really? You're not ready? You stupid piece of crap. Well, I'll go ahead and make one of them for now. Not a weapon. We want armor. Robes. Oh, that's right. I need to buy red eyes. Gosh darn it. Okay, we'll check here and then we'll go buy red eyes if their stuff isn't up. Please be sparkling. Please, you're not sparkling. I wish I knew the time frame on how long it takes for sparklies to respawn. Oh, it looks so good having all these completed. Love it. I want two of these. Okay, please be please be respawned by now. And oh yeah, I'm up to like 70k or 75k. Well, I was up to like 70 75k uh, casino coins, by the way, before I bought stuff. Still at around like 50 to 60, something like that.